Hey y'all, Cassie here. It's day three on my BBBE challenge. And I have to tell you, there's something that's weighing very heavily on my heart and I just need to talk to you about it. I really hate feeling this way. Thanks for tuning in and listening to me babble. And if you have a quick second, I'd appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. It only takes a second. It helps push out the video and this one just might reach somebody and help save their life. So many of you know, a month ago I was working at a brewery and I was supposed to be on the BBBE challenge and well, that didn't exactly work out so well. I ended up falling, I fell off the rails, not too badly, bad enough but not too badly because I know what I'm capable of doing. I could go completely off the rails, eat everything in sight, even when I'm not hungry, even when it doesn't sound good. Does that sound like you? Yes. Okay. So you may be thinking, what, what, what does she hate? What is she not feeling? Well, I'll get to that in a moment. Let me just give you a quick breakdown of the last three days. It was hard getting back on day one and I just had to put my big girl panties on, put my foot down and go to work. For about three weeks, I've been eating general carnivore and it's been lazy and even kind of dirty, you know, a lot of dairy, heavy seasoning, eating much more than I should be eating, you know, deep fried goods. You know, they're fried in lard. I know how to render lard and make my own. So it's clean. But the simple fact of the matter is I ate way too much. The food was tasting too good, period. I like food. I like texture. I was making fried chicken breast. I'd make my own beef stroganoff, you know, just heavy cream and some cheese in there. And that's what I was doing for the last three weeks. And it wasn't doing me any favors. I can assure you that because I still had cravings. I read the comments on my last video and I've got to tell you, I know I'm not alone. I feel like I've let y'all down. <laughs> because I'm not alone. Even though Larry and I created this channel for accountability for ourselves, well, it's turned into a little more than that. You know, people look up to us and I've got to tell you, I've let y'all down. We put up a challenge, January 1st, the BBBE challenge, 60 day challenge. I'm a month late to my own challenge. Ugh, it's frustrating. I feel really bad about that. And it's been weighing pretty heavily on my heart. I feel like I've let so many of you down. And with that said, you know, I almost wonder, am I doing more harm than good when I fall off the rails? I know, yes, I'm only human. We're all human. And I'm sure at some point, even the strictest carnivores have fallen off the rails. Maybe not as long as I would do. And they probably wouldn't do the damages as, as I would do. Maybe they just have a piece of cake or, you know, go off and, and have some bread with one of their meals. But my point is, I, I wonder, you know, if people are looking to me thinking, well, Cassie fell and she got back up. Well, certainly I can do the same. I can have a meal or I can go to this birthday party and enjoy some cake and get right back on plan. Well, you can, but how long might you be down? I've been in this fight for almost three years and almost nine years in the low carb spectrum. I've been fighting this whole time. It didn't just happen overnight. My sensitivity level might be much lower than yours or higher than yours. It, it all depends. You know, we're individual. There are genetic predispositions and there might be arguments for that. Who knows? The odds are definitely stacked against us. Surely we can all agree on that. By my falling and documenting it, even though this channel is for accountability, that's beside the point. I feel it's irresponsible and I owe y'all an apology for not sticking to my guns. And I just, I love you. I don't want anybody else to get harmed because of what I may or may not do, but I'm trying to make things right now. So I am on day three of my BBB challenge and I'm tracking, not everything. I'm not tracking macros or anything like that. I'm just trying to keep a food diary just so I know what I ate. How much did I exercise my weight? Every time I step on that scale, it's, it's all going to be in here. I've had this green book for quite some time. There's a lot of different things in here. Anything from our weight loss challenge results. I've got numbers in here from January of last year to notes on a video. This is, I will always have this book. Well, right now this book is also taking notes on what I eat, how much I eat, a rough 
calorie breakdown, fat breakdown. Now, I know a lot of people don't believe in calories in, calories out. Maybe it's fat in, fat out, however you want to count it. And one thing I have learned with my coffee indulgences is I was taking in anywhere between 2,500 to 3,000 calories a day. Now, coffee itself does not contain a lot of calories. What is it? Five calories per cup. So that was all coming from butter and heavy cream or half and half, depending on what I decided to use that day. Thousands of calories per day. Now, another thing that I'm working on is coffee reduction. And I've minimized the size of my coffee cup from a big old honking 13 ounce cup down to a smaller eight ounce cup. So instead of having three tablespoons of heavy cream or half and half and three tablespoons of butter, I've, I've completely eliminated the butter and I'm only having two tablespoons of heavy cream or half and half. So I'm definitely making improvement with that. And it's only three cups a day, which I want to keep in my feeding window. I mean, it's only three days. It's a work in progress. Eventually, I'd like to see that number two, zero. I would love to get down to zero cups of coffee a day. So many people who have given it up have reported how great they feel. And I want to experience that. I had two weeks, two weeks under my belt of no coffee, no dairy. It was lying and I felt fantastic. And what did I do? I was out and about shopping for our meet and greet event. And I just wanted to celebrate with a cup of coffee. So what I do, I went out and got a cappuccino and it was amazing. And then a few days later at the event, I was really tired. I put a lot of hours into it, preparing food and shopping for the food, getting gift baskets together. It's a lot of work putting on that type of an event. There was uh, roughly 60 people there, I think. Anyway, getting off track because I was feeling a little bit tired. I had a coffee. I had Larry bring me a coffee and I sucked that bad boy down as fast as I could. And then that was it. It just snowballed from there. You know, same with a bite of food. It's addiction is addiction is addiction, whether it's food, drink, drugs, a substance you inhale. Addiction is addiction. And in the food and beverage department, it's a little tricky. We need food to survive. I'm down three pounds. I feel really good already. I'm starting to feel the fog lifting. There's still clouds around my head and I'm still feeling a little fatigued and whatnot, but I'm feeling empowered and my outlook is so much more positive. I feel really good. Today I had steak and eggs, a pound of strip and two whole chickens. Yesterday, what did I have yesterday? Let me look in my book. <laughs> oh, Rosie, I hear Rosie. Yesterday, I had all three B's and an E. I had a couple eggs, bacon, beef, and those eggs were, of course, cooked in butter. So, B, 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 and E. Say that three times fast. Triple B and E. There you go. That That's so much easier. Yesterday, I went way over on my coffee, though. I was feeling a little sluggish, and I did have, oh gosh, I hate to say it, five cups, which is close to what I would normally take in. I was anywhere between six and eight cups. It was definitely on the lower end, but still five cups. That was a lot of coffee. Mind you though, they are much smaller cups. So I guess that's still a win and yard work. I did 25 minutes of raking yesterday. So again, the snowball effect is happening. Snowball effect of good things. I worked out yesterday and I would like to work out a little bit later today when it's just a hair warmer. I'll probably get back out, get some fresh air, a little sun on my face. You know, it feels so good to be active again. It feels so good to have that desire, that want to do better. I'm sure many of you know about the YouVersion Bible app and it throws out a verse of the day every single day. And February 1st, day one of the challenge, this was the verse that was sent to me. Mark 3.25 And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. How true is that? If you're going to be double-minded, missing the foods, desiring the foods mentally, maybe not so much with the cravings, maybe even feeling sorry for yourself that you just can't have those foods. You can have them. How good are you going to feel after you have them? Should you have them? 
no. That's a big no. But that verse really touched my heart. I feel most days I can apply those verses to my life in some way, shape, or form, and it's so fitting. I may as well give you all today's verse of the day as well. And this one will be fitting following up that last passage. And it is also from Mark, Mark 4, 9. And he said, he who has ears, let him hear. Day three, so far so great. And so many of you have told me that you're going to get on the challenge with me. I hope you're doing well too. Stand strong and let's finish this thing once and for all. No more messing around. No more playing around. We have a goal to meet. Let's do it. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes. And I hope you got a little something from this video. Um, especially my apology. I truly do apologize. And I just, I want to see y'all succeed as bad as I want to succeed. Anyway, I'm babbling. I'm babbling. I do that so much. Well, I love y'all. And until we meet again, no sugar, no carbs, and no cheating.